Good morning. Here we are, Sunday, May 3rd. And what I have is I just removed my fan. I had a fan sitting here and it was running all night because I felt my main vine was a little too wet. And I don't want it wet all the time. You will end up rotting your stump. You do want to water it. You do want to keep it. But you can see my ground is dark. It has moisture. It is now raining. So I put the fan away. But here's your uh, tertiary. Here's a tertiary coming off this back secondary. I have this secondary buried. And I got to say, I've never seen such beautiful roots in my life popping up out of the soil so early. I'll show you one right here. Right there's the white root. The root, baby, the root. The root is on fire. There she is. It's looking a little blurry, but that's the white root. Let's see if it'll focus in. I need to throw soil on that white root. That's the root coming out of the top. That's what we're looking for. That's what the patents and everybody are trying to put that black cup over. That white root. All right. There you go. I'm finally getting her to green up a little bit. I'm liking it. I'm loving this plant. Small leaves are easy to take care of. Don't think you need a big stump. Everybody thinks, oh, big stump, big pumpkin. No, there's no correlation between the two. Big stumps, big plant. means you got a big plant. We're looking for big pumpkins. All right, so the small leaves will be easy to care for. Here we are. I'm excited. I have my pumpkin here. Woohoo! There she is, baby. That'll probably open in about one week or less. I'm going to start turning the vine. I'll probably turn this vine completely around and have this thing horseshoe around, do something totally different. And then I'll let the vines grow accordingly. But I'll pitchfork it over here. You want to make sure that the secondary before the pumpkin, which would be this guy over here, that little guy, we're going to leave the tertiaries on that one. We don't want to pinch the tertiaries off that one. That'll shoot under the board, come out here, and then we'll grow tertiaries off this way. That'll be your pitchfork. And that'll fill in this entire plant. A very important part of the plant. <clears throat> in 2016, I didn't get the title, the state title, because a trespasser came in my garden and stepped on that secondary connected to that entire pitchfork, taking out 25% of my plant a month before the weigh-offs around Labor Day. And that cost me the state title that year. I had a 1704. The state title was one with an 1823. So uh, keep people out of your garden. Just a warning. Don't let people wander around your garden. They have no idea what we're doing. But here you go. As you can see, it's raining. Rain on me, baby. Bubba loves the rain. Now I'll go downtown. Everybody will be complaining about the rain. And I'll be singing and happy because it's been dry. And I need the rain ahead of the plant, the microbes. Sure, I can water, but healthy soil needs rain. So here we go. Keep them growing. If you have any questions, post them below. Bury your secondaries as soon as you can. The quicker this plant roots in, the quicker you're going to have a big root system to feed that pumpkin. And that little pumpkin I'm going to pollinate in about one week. Two weeks after that, it's going to start shutting this plant down because all the juice will go to the pumpkin. So very important, bury your roots now. You want your roots to be on fire. Talk to you soon.